Okay, sorry I waited six months to show you my new travel journal. And when I say new, it's new to me, but it's not new within my possession. I've had this for going on six months now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, for my regular travelers, notebook fans, you guys might appreciate this, but you may be sad because it's really, really hard to come by. The brand is Polaire Travel Journal. I picked this up in Korea in Seoul there is a mall let me show you there's a mall at it's the Times Square mall and I was staying at the courtyard hotel next to it in that mall they have this wonderful store called hot tracks it would be our version of I would say maybe like Barnes and Noble, but better because Barnes and Noble only has like music and books. Hot Tracks has music, books, and like um, stationery and stickers and little knickknacks and gifts. So it's wonderful. But one of my favorite finds during that trip, okay, hold on, were these traveler traveler leather notebook style covers that i will unbox and show you for those that follow me on instagram you may already remember seeing this so let's go ahead and go over the details because um hold on, let me adjust my camera because i will be doing a setup i am <laughs> yeah i'm excited to get into my travel journal because i'll explain towards the end of the video so this is how it looks and surprise, surprise to me, look who this brand, I would say is maybe attached to or a part of the umbrella of Franklin Covey or also known as Franklin Planner. Here's their website. Why is it that Asia has, in my opinion, the better version of the US based brands? <laughs> Let me know, especially if you guys travel a lot around the world, especially in Asia. I noticed that everything in Korea is just like better, but it's our originating brand. Like Baskin Robbins, their cakes and their flavors are much better. I mean, this Franklin Covey US based brand, there are like, like Domino's and um, like certain like Starbucks, even there, like the inside, the, the settings, the, the food options. The offerings are just much better. I don't know what it is. Maybe, who knows? Maybe they know who they're appealing to and to make it seem more enticing. But <laughs> moving on, these are the little tags of information that come with it. So if you guys could read the uh, Korean here, the Hangul lettering. Again, I don't know if you can... Um, this, so they get their leather in Italy, which is nice. But I was so excited, but I was so sad because I looked on our website here in the United States and we don't offer this travel leather journal style. So if you know someone in Korea that can get this for you, or if you are located in South Korea, you may have luck still finding this. With this set, with the set, it comes with one notebook, it's blank. Um, did I look at how many pages? I haven't even opened this yet, you guys. But I love that it's blank. You know, you know me. I love a good blank notebook. Of course, it comes with the box, and then your dust cover pouch with the branding here. And ta-da! Here we go. This is the brown. Look at the size. It is. Well, I would say like this is called their standard, but I would define this as the A5 slim because it's not quite A5 size, which is what I have here. This is an A5 size traveler's notebook I had custom made by Lacau Lorite, Le which I think I've shown in like my other videos. So you have like about what, like an inch? Is that an inch or like half an inch? You have like that extra space right here, but it's slimmer, just like. My favorite notebook uh, that I've been using, the, the Moleskin. And that was partially the reason why I got this. So it could be a nice cover for my Moleskin 
journals if I wanted another leather cover because truth be told, I've found it very challenging finding um, leather makers that make this A5 slim dimension. Now there are some out there, but my preference I would say is very particular and I am very fond of the Midori, the original Midori Traveler's Notebook, also now known as Traveler's Company. Their original making where it's just pretty simple, like no, you know, sewn in bulky pockets on the side. The only thing is, um, I like how you can accessorize and add your own pockets and whatnot, but I don't like this clasp. That's that's kind of one of my gripes here. I know I can cut I can cut it off, um, and I would do that. I have done that, which I've shown in my other Traveler's Notebook, like how to make your own Traveler's Notebook. I've detached this and bound it back. However, the size is too slim for my liking at this point in my life for as much as I journal. So this is slim, okay? This is slimmer than this notebook. And um, these are what the typical standard the Traveler's Company or the Midori brand. This is what how small or slim their inserts are compared to what I'm familiar and I find comfortable, which is like a moleskin. The moleskin is about eight, eight and a quarter in height and five and a quarter in length or like in, um, I'd say in width. So I've grown attached to this dimension and just something about it feels very, very like comfortable as you guys have seen throughout many videos and Instagram posts. So the A5 Slim, I do have a few of these by Muji. It is listed as A5 Slim. So to compare, you could see here when we have like this extra inch, which for me makes all the difference, all right? So when I came across this in the tracks store oh my gosh you guys i was so excited so much so that i picked up um a backup okay this is oh this is what the sticker looks like because it comes sealed like this and um they have like the dark brown color standard size but i also have the blue and it has like the color right here standard size another color I got, which I kind of had a feeling I, I wasn't going to love, but I just had to have all the colors that they offered. They only had like six of those left, you guys, and I bought four of the standard ones left. So this is the olive color. Same blank notebook. Oh, right here you can see where it says Franklin Planner. I wish they would bring this here in the United States. But this is their olive color. You can see the difference. While I love my olive leather tote that I've shared before in the past made by Madewell, I realize I'm not really attached to the leather traveler's notebook. I don't know. Um, so, but I, I had to get it because, you know, that's the collector in me. I just, I knew I wasn't going to have another opportunity to come across this and who knows, maybe the phase would pass and I would eventually grow attached to this, or maybe I will um, include this within like a, a giveaway, but, oh, that's another thing. These travel, these travel journal covers come with cute little beads already accessorized on the two bookmarks. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I even show you the details on the brown one? No, I did not. I got carried away. And you can see these color beads are different. The light, and this is like a red. And then this is like a light brown with a green. It has four um, elastics in the inside, which I, I really like. And the rest, you can see it's like a bit, the leather here is pressed down. I can add my own stickers, which you can find online. Again, another reason why I'm doing this video now, because I'm gonna show you my full setup video probably tomorrow or the next day. But I wanted to make this separate video just in case you had questions on like, what brand is this? Where did I get it? More details. So yeah, it comes with this little leather um, 
like charm or also like a protector. The edges have a little bit of that dip so you can put the elastic on there, but I'm going to take I'm going to take this off, which you'll probably notice in my next setup video. But another reason why I like this is because it's so thin. It's thin, you guys, this is so lightweight. It doesn't even feel like I have anything on here. So if I wanted to use this as a leather cover for my moleskin, it would not even add any weight, but it would just have that nice, you know, leather appeal to it. Um, oh, another thing I picked up. Oh yeah, let me show you how it looks with the A5 Slim. It obviously fits the moleskin. And you can always cut down an A5 notebook, which I've done. I have like a Midori A5 notebook that I've cut down to be A slim, and um, you could do that as well. Or a Stalogy notebook, or just really any notebook of your preference. But here you can see there's extra room. While I was there at the department store, they do sell like their um, elastic cord. So I got this if I wanted to change out and accessorize it. What do you think? Should I keep the brown elastic? I kind of want it to have a little bit of a pop. So I was thinking about maybe adding the light brown or kind of like this sunset orange. Because it's not quite orange. It's not quite red. It's like right in the middle. What do you think? Should I do it like with this color? I kind of like that. Or should I do the, the light brown or just keep it as dark brown? Let me know. And this was, you guys, this was the last one they had at Hot Tracks. It was the Polaire Travel Journal, but in the pocket size. Not passport, but this is pocket size. So this would fit what we are familiar with, like, um, you know, like field note size. Same, you get the branding on your dust cover and you can see the height difference. It comes with the insert. This is the color, um, was it natural or light brown? I don't, I can't, I don't have the wrapper. Wait, do I? No, I don't have the wrapper in front of me, but it's like an undyed veg tan leather you can see here the bookmark it's red with this light brown and this light string for the bookmark and then these also have the four elastics and then here's they all have this stamping the Polaire travel journal leather cover made in Korea and this leather smells so divine it smells <sighs> oh, and another blank insert interesting okay so that is that just wanted to quickly jump in and share that with you before i post my full um notebook setup again in the in like the next day or so within sometime this week i, I ha i'll have it set up so now you guys know it's the polaire travel journal brand made in korea i purchased this in korea i tried looking online i really did i tried looking online to see if maybe i could of course buy some more um just in case like something were to happen to these and to also link these for you but i haven't had any luck so i'm sorry if this is a tease because you may not have access to these but i did want to share that if you do see these, uh, which I'm sure you will, my travel journal, my leather uh, journal in the next few weeks and upcoming months, you'll know exactly where I got this, why I love it, because it's it's thin, it lays flat, it doesn't have all the extra bulky pockets. Did I show you how thin it is? Like, it's really, really thin. It's pretty comparable to, oh, I would even say it's slightly thinner than the Midori, or also now known as the Traveler's Company brand. Also, I've shown you my, I really love this leather too. I, I've shown you how to make your own travel journal. This leather, you can't really even tell the difference. If you're based here in the United States, go to Michael's. Look at this. This leather is like the same for my preference. It's the same. Um, it's 
not a5 though unfortunately or i'm sorry it's not yeah it's not an a5 size but it's not quite an a5 slim because if you look okay you see how much i still need like this extra room so it's just i would say it's a larger standard traveler's notebook because it can hug a traveler's notebook with like a little bit of extra like about half an was it like maybe a centimeter or two extra room so i would say this diy cover would be great for those that like to bulk up their travel journal or not even like to bulk it if you just want a budget-friendly alternative but great leather that's very 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 comparable to the uh, midori travelers company and this is um again from michael's it does not come like this i did it I did this myself. It does come in the same size. It comes in black and it also comes in like the veg tan, which I put out in the sun and got it darkened. And then they have a black. They all feel very smooth. Like this black is very soft. It's again, comparable to the Traveler's Company. I promise you, if you were to carry this around, it, it looks very pretty com comparable, okay? So I did these myself punching the holes, adding the elastic. I think the leather at the time of purchase was like $12 for this size. You find you can find it in their leather section. And again, I will link down the link where I go more into details, but it's very easy. Just get a hole punch here, leather hole punch, get some elastic and there you go. So I would have just stuck with this. However, knowing my journaling style as it is now, I think the A5 Slim is my sweet spot. The A5 Slim, again, is it has to at least be eight and a quarter, uh, wait, yeah, eight and a quarter in height and then five and a quarter in length, um, at least. So around that, mm, for my writing preference, at least. All right, that is that. You guys just wanted to quickly hop in and share my new, my, my new toy, if you, if you will. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll share you the setup video in the next coming uh days if, before anyone asks about what the blue looks like i don't i haven't even opened it it's still sealed because again i think i may just i don't like blue typically but why did i buy it because just because i might use it as a giveaway might gift it to a friend i just you guys i was there on vacation and you know what we do on vacation we we buy souvenirs and things that we know we don't have access to and i knew i would never have access to this brand again um because every time I go to Korea in their stationery shop, just like any store that we, we visit, right? Things turn over, items turn over. Like you don't go to Target today and expect the same thing to be there next year, right? Like certain things turn over. So I don't even know if I would even find the Polaire Travel Journal by the next time I visit Korea or even some of my friends and family that I had there. This was again over six months ago. So enough rambling. See you guys later. Bye.